My drawings can be described as the dried up crowd of the eye. Hence in spissations, they are gifts of police bodicum videos replayed synchronously while waiting for fresh juice made to the order. Pupils trawl across the vistas and horizons, hammering out the meanings from of external stimuli until veiled by incontinence of utter exhaustion from fossicating interpretations. The elegy for hormone fluctuates in the temporality of desire. For example, one section deals with the parental DNA heritage and honoring your parents in their effort to keep you off the troubles. The literal form and pure enunciation in the drawing can be identified. Just looking for the most innocent form of parasite. The formal reification of the same idea is manifested by the reactionary style, self-effacing its reference in visual detours. Maybe I am just trying to find my way of killing parents inside of me to sabotage their heritage. And I could go on other examples, alike rises in my life in no particular sequence thoughts are just jumping in and creating my mental state an image of shuttlecock and pussy swing and adventures of cozy and cine the enumeration and in some way utterly supernumerary enumeration represents bipolar duality of existence mixing up languages mixing the words reworking grammar syntax from different languages as well as reciting non sequitur connotations are the disc a mirror of everybody's life emergency flare is one that will be missing here but the flare call note style yeah it is found with emergency as its emergency flyer not flyer but f l a r e there is a discourse between dictating thoughts to dictating software and then drawing them in retrospective or airport saying and drawing aspirating to your green hygiene and pink autopsy etc. are two different things, two different states, spanning very different timetable. They migrate from one work to another in different forms and shapes. They are liminal and subliminal. Visual field is perfect way to convey the slow start with chain socket back. There are many interruptions and many climacteriums when one feels that he or she arrives at the end of the meaning just to realize that another impulse from their past steps in and invigorates inner child in very agitating manner, usually as a result of bipolar dichotomy struggling inside IT. Facing the internal hybrid of reason and hormones create flux of emotional frequencies that resonate on the surface of our skin. One should look at my work and get their goosebumps. Yes get the goosebumps from the fear of seeing their own disco ball. The motives or rather motifs flowing in according to relatively formulaic scenario. At this very moment there can be several parallel ones blossoming, pathological or not. After all, passing a judgment renders commitment and hence faith in some set of standards that originate in a larger context we subscribe our lives to. You go to employee Christmas party. Here are your standards. Just looking for the most innocent form of parasite can become a parasite. One example but at the same time a whole slew of parallel imagers are emerging. Rungs for arms. Where hands are tied and connected together. Connected together by ladder rungs is another imagery that just sprung out not only, not only, not only defying one's mind conceptual models but dictating software itself. 
What if the latter is glass blown and rungs rung like your custom ringtone while shattering under the weight of your curiosity? Unceasing continuous flow creates formal framework for my drawings, rarely becoming deleterious. Green shark is a plausible image but can it function in the whole world theme of the any particular picture? The surface in front of me is a bottomless well that prostrates its moist walls around me. It's dribble ready to rarefy in infinite layers of physical and mental surface abrasions while climbing up to its maw above. It has to withstand in the views of many media, repeated, 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 repeated as in dictation erasures as well as debrading scraping a 4H 0.3 mm technical pencil point. Many accidents of spillage are gratified rarefication indeed. Pursuit by something always bigger is the infinite chase by the paradox of exceedingly augmented reality. Infinite shapes and no undoes is the brick and mortar. Infinite permutations of shapes like strands of hairs creating grammar and confusion in your own language. Freestyling aesthetic alienation hampered by understanding between defying or defining when arriving at boundaries between contiguous lesions of prosaic and sophomoric. Do you feel you are too privileged to revolt? Then go hide yourself. You can hide more with black on black but don't rely on marks of same color loosing. Check if check disadvantage before asking for directions to the vacuum room at the airport. Drawing hip and then hop. Does not make it a hip hop drawing. Nor putting comic strip in the landscape makes it narrative drawing. That is narrative being coherent account of events in space. Time continuum. The whole point of this notes is that not have to come back to them. You rip their meaning off your gray matter while it's being transmitted through the demolinoside neuron sheaths, pure ripstop fabric. On the other hand on the going back to the painting you want to vault but you have nothing to revolt about then you will need to create personal context or narrative you can infuse with your combative rebellious revolt. Revolution like culture is primarily invisible. Feeling to revolt but have nothing to revolt about. Then, as I said, you will need to create personal context or narrative you can infuse with your struggle and reason to make other people to listen to your rhetoric. It gives you a purpose. Revolution like culture is invisible, and so is the final cause. Creating landscape of peeling skin lesions inflicted on idyllic sunset setting. It requires rager and patience to anthropomorphize incoherent means of line and hue. Only a few knows what their skull looks like. We are made of game interaction with code. To recapitulate we are made of game entertainment interaction that amounts to imposing aesthetic alienation on the viewer through visual smegma. It interaction warrants dulling effect of your senses and or sensuality, boundaries remaining obfuscated. Finding the groove of purpose by scraping surface of what has been served in front of you, a pupating vug of Kronos imploding. After 3 a.m. in the morning, how can you enjoy joyride and stealthy to mescent dawn sneaking in with resplendent gray that pushes inside through dewy window sills? Overpowering glittering resplendence coming from the golden crowns in the dribbling mouth on the pillow. I, too had many facelifts opportunities to melt away but pelted my way through by other means. Passing a judgment renders commitment and leads to purity of the heart, but, unmistakably, ending in success pool spilled by a broken drain catheter, S stands for smoky road to the closed door anyway, behind which are all the paintings I have ever wanted to paint. Likewise, while we inflect life with circumstances, 
serrated edge of fangs transmogrify into a terror of bristling hair tufts around calvus labius. The inferno of curiosity gravitate into ever greater density. Copyrighted it be from now until expired. Because every line I put down for you to see, is a jailbait of the future. It is not matter of size but of the contrast. Intersection of two sharp lines being its apogee and, that's why pastel experience must be extra large.